clearly see that there's a big difference between people coming over here willingly and doing so in order to better their lives versus someone whose ancestors were dragged over here to be sold as property what? and then dealing with the repercussions of that being your family history and red line laws and all the other things that were put in place to sort of keep them in very specific areas which to this day remain crime ridden gang ridden deeply impoverished communities well that's true but the question is how much of that is historic redlining and how much of that is an 18 year old kid today deciding to pick up a gun and shoot somebody but how much of that 18 year old kid today deciding to pick up a gun and shoot somebody is based on him growing up in this fucked up environment where that's what he models where everything around him is crime and gangs and you imitate your atmosphere which is what all humans do right but the answer is there's only one way to break that chain what what way is that that way is to not pick up a gun and shoot somebody i think that's meaning that